Houston Texans just revealed their disgusting game day plan as huge FU to white owner. Houston Texans players are now planning to protest as a unit before Sunday's game against the Seattle Seahawks in the wake of team owner Bob McNair's controversial inmates running the prison comment instead of saying inmates running the asylum. The comment was made during an NFL owners meeting in New York earlier this month. It referred to ongoing player demonstrations during the national anthem. The comment was made public in the extreme left-leaning ESPN The Magazine story published Friday that looked in-depth at what went on during the October 17th meeting of select NFL owners, players and union leaders, and the full owners' meetings the following day at which McNair made the comment. McNair did, of course, apologize for his comment on Friday and again on Saturday, where he said, I am truly sorry to the players for how this has impacted them and the perception that it has created of me, which could not be further from the truth. SB Nation reports. Texans Bob McNair apologizes for saying NFL can't have inmates running the prison. Seth Wickersham and Don Van Nauta Jr. of ESPN pulled back the curtain and provided an in-depth look at the recent NFL meetings between owners and players to discuss protests during the national anthem. The most high-raising quote in the article came from Houston Texans owner Bob McNair, who reportedly derailed a discussion when he told other NFL owners that they can't have the inmates running the prison. The comment came during a meeting that didn't include current players. But McNair's words reportedly offended NFL executive and former player Troy Vincent. Via ESPN.com After the owners finished, Troy Vincent stood up. He was offended by McNair's characterization of the players as inmates. Vincent said that in all his years of playing in the NFL, during which, he said, he had been called every name in the book, including the N-word, he never felt like an inmate. That sparked a back and forth with Cowboys owner Jerry Jones who said NFL owners are historically responsible for the success of the NFL. However, McNair later pulled Vincent aside to apologize for the comment and then released a statement Friday after his words were made public in ESPN's report. The expression of inmates running the prison or asylum is used to describe leadership surrendering power to those being led. But the optics of owners essentially describing themselves as prison wardens aren't great, particularly because police brutality and systematic oppression are at the heart of the player protests. McNair suggested Saturday that his expression was used to describe the NFL league office as the inmates, but that falls flat when we already know the context of the conversation that led to its use. As Jones spoke, Snyder mumbled out loud, See, Jones gets it, 96% of Americans are for guys standing, a claim some dismissed as a grand overstatement. McNair, a multi-million dollar Trump campaign contributor, spoke next echoing many of the same business concerns. We can't have the inmates running the prison, McNair said. Despite McNair's claims that the expression wasn't used to describe players, it's hard to read the context any other way. And even if McNair apologized, the comment only serves to validate what many already perceive the thoughts and beliefs of NFL owners to be. That includes Seahawks cornerback Richard Sherman, 49ers safety, linebacker Eric Reed and other players who commented about McNair. Athletes in other sports spoke out, too. NBA forward Draymond Green called what McNair said unacceptable. The comments also had a ripple effect in Houston with players on the Texans so offended that they considered walking out of practice Friday. Wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins did skip the practice. While many of the owners thought the meetings were a strong effort to move forward, some players weren't as impressed. Los Angeles Chargers offensive tackle Russell Okung described the meetings as unproductive at best and disingenuous at worst. That's not surprising after the ESPN article characterized most of the owners' concerns as squarely on business, ratings, and sponsorships, and seemed to show the group as dismissive of the concerns of racial inequality that prompted protests in the first place. Leading the way was Jones who has pushed for a league-wide mandate to stand during the national anthem like the one he declared for Cowboys players. He said the owners had to take the business impact seriously, as the league was threatened by a polarizing issue it couldn't contain or control. To some in the room, 
it was clear Jones was trying to build momentum for an anthem mandate resolution, and in the words of one owner, he brought up a lot of fair points. Jones believed he was one of the few showing any urgency on the matter and seemed to be more frustrated that not everybody was listening than he was passionate about the mandate. It also didn't help that others' attempts to listen to players' concerns were awkward and or tone-deaf. Bill's owner Terry Pegula complimented Anquin Bolden for his message about police brutality, but called the receiver and. He also said the NFL could use a spokesperson like Bolden on social issues because it couldn't be white owner but needs to be someone who's black. Not all owners were unsympathetic. 49ers owner Jed York and Eagles owner Jeffrey Lurie have been supportive of players' right to kneel, and only nine owners were in favor of a mandate. Commissioner Roger Goodell was also in the corner of players and surprisingly opposed Jones for much of the meetings, creating an interesting stage for a future power struggle. Next week, the owners will again meet with players and this time it's expected to include former 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick, the player at the core of the protests during the national anthem. It's a chance for owners and players to take a step forward but the ESPN article further illuminates that the gulf between the two sides isn't close to being bridged. Of course, because these spoiled players won't just walk out of their jobs where they make an average salary of $2.2 million a season, they initially stated they would remove the Houston Texans decals from their helmets in protest. But now, instead, it's being reported they have backed down from that idea and will just kneel during the national anthem instead. So let me get this straight. These spoiled ball tossers have an issue with something their team owner says in a private meeting so they go back to disrespecting the nation who made these illiterates rich beyond belief? Really? Since you players are so principled why don't you put your money where your mouth is and walk out of the game altogether? That would really make a statement and it would stop people from thinking you are all a bunch of money-grabbing spoiled brats throwing a temper tantrum. tantrum.